Hi guys. A few more bits have arrived recently, so we've had a, a bit of a play and connected some bits together. As you can see, it's all just very temporary. Um, we're even using a 5 volt power supply to give 5 volts to the coils. But it works. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? I have no idea what sort of torque we're going to get. If it's even going to push me along, having a clue. But it's working. It's spinning the wheel. That's pretty cool. And this is a bike that was kicking around for years, so it cost me nothing. Batteries pulled out of old laptop battery packs that were lying about the house, so they cost me nothing. Washing machine pulley out of an old washing machine cost nothing. £12 for the belt, £15 for the motor and 45 quid for the controller plus another 10 or 11 for the, the twist grip. So everything else was just lying around or bits and pieces that I picked up. I need to figure out what the best voltage is for the uh, the coils because at the minute, like I say, it's just running on a 5 volt uh, power supply. Some guys recommend putting 12 volts directly onto it, but that seems a bit overkill. So we'll see what, see what we can figure out. Maybe get some more batteries and see if we can get make up a, a separate battery pack for the coils. If you're wondering why the wheel is so unbalanced, it's because it was lying flat for years, so the tire isn't in great shape. And like I say, everything is just sitting here very temporary. No idea what speed that is, but it's pretty fast. Uh, it's got to be 15 or 20, I'm sure. But like I say, I had no idea what torque I'm going to get until I get on the on the road. But I can always assist it if I need to. Works both ways. The motor, by the way, is an old car alternator that has been rewired. Next time, hopefully, it'll all be bolted together a little bit more tidily on a separate battery pack, and it'll be on the road. See you soon. Bye.